Worth It season finale. Today, we're doing sandwiches. Yes, we're taking sandwiches international, which is why we are in Athens, Greece. That's right, we flew all the way here. Just kidding, this is actually Nashville, Tennessee, which happens to have a one-for-one -one reproduction of the Parthenon. One might ask, what is the more important part of the sandwich, the contents or the bread? That is a debate we are going to be putting to bed this episode. To bread? <laughs> nah, it's mostly gonna be about meat, though. So don't get your hopes up, bread lovers. Today on Worth It, we're gonna be trying three sandwiches in three cities at three drastically different price points to find out which one is the most worth it at its price. That's six slices of bread. Nashville, the home of many amazing things, but we're gonna be focusing on the hot chicken that was founded here. We're going to one of the original spots called Bolton Spicy Chicken and Fish. Hi, I'm Dolly, and you're at Bolton Spicy Chicken and Fish, Nashville, Tennessee. Bolton's is a local owned and operated restaurant. My husband Bolton is named after his uncle Bolton Pope, who had a chicken shack at the bottom of Shelby Street Bridge years ago. What is so special about that recipe that makes Bolton's Bolton's. My secret ingredients that I expose to the public is love, joy, peace, and happiness. Mm. But don't a lot of people get in a lot of pain when they come here and they eat the hot chicken? <laughs> well, have you ever heard the expression, it hurts so good? Yes. That's what they say. Then you may go on a daze or you may start giggling. What are the different spice levels that you can get at Bolton's? Non-spicy, light mild, mild, medium, hot, and extra hot. Which level do you like to eat? Mild. Which one should we eat? Just start out with hot. That's what you come for. You want to get that rush. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Today, we will be having our famous breast quarter. If you never had a bone-in sandwich, it's a proper way to eat it. Is this bone in our sandwich? Bone is in your sandwich. This is real <laughs> chicken, not processed yeah. meat. I love it. Yeah. We marinate our chicken quarters at least 24 hours, sometimes 48. Roll it once or twice, shake it a little bit, you put it in a skillet. You're using a skillet and not an industrial large fryer. Why is that? Because they hold flavor. The more you cook it in the skillet, it gives it a whole different taste. If you can't tell, I'm nervous and I want to make sure I'm not going to make a mistake by ordering the hot. We, we should order the hot, right? If you don't have a high pepper tolerance, no. But now, if you want to go for it, I'll send you there. <laughs> The residue can stay two to three days, even if you shower. You do not touch your eyes. And you wash your hands before you potty, before you hug your girlfriend, all of that. Have you ever seen a better meat to bread ratio than that? No. That's, that's, that's my kind of sandwich. Some people are like, sandwiches are all about the bread. I'm like, uh, false. I was reading up on how Sean Evans from Hot Ones prepares himself. He says never eat with the empty stomach. So let's have a little mac and cheese to yes, start that. Please. Cheers. Mm. That's great. We're just both <laughs> avoiding eating <laughs> the spicy chicken. All right. You ready for this? Right, yeah. Yeah. Right Cheers. Here. Oh, that's nice. Oh. That heat level is nice. Yeah, it's tingling yeah. my lips. Okay. All right. Look how the spice is sticking to my hands. Don't rub your eyes. It's not my eyes I'm worried about. It's so good. Wow. What, in my face running? Yeah. You look like you just came back from the sun. Okay, different pockets of the chicken are spiced a little differently. I may have started in a, mm. in a more mild area. I'm gonna eat like a normal sandwich. I'm gonna try it like this. Ooh. I unintentionally kissed the chicken. It's kind of like taking a cold shower. It like feels really good, but you're kind of like doing a little dance to get yourself to the other end. Yeah, the first tear has dropped for me. Really? See this right here? It's on this corner of my eye. Oh, oh no! I just touched my eye. Oh no. Do not touch your eye. Don't rub your eyes. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. My eye, no. It does burn. <laughs> it does. It does. Oh. You were warned. That's all I'm gonna say. He's a dab, dab. <laughs> May start giggling. He thinks right now. I, I go on a day. Do I feel the love? love? I feel the love. Do I feel the joy? joy? Somewhere. Somewhere. Peace? No. 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 And then the happiness. Oh, I'm very happy. Yeah, man. You know, the special thing about this is not really that it's spicy. It's that it's expertly made fried chicken at a ridiculous price point. $5.50. Yeah. Are you ready for the very hot? No. How hot is it? Same. It 
So we just left Nashville. We're back in Los Angeles. That was my first time in Nashville, actually. I had a great time. Now gonna have our second sandwich, and we're on our way to the Oinkster. The Oinkster. Hey, is that binging with Babish? No way, that's yeah. not him. That's him. Is it Wait, really? Hold up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm up my window. Hey, is that binging with Babish? Yo! <laughs> We're filming our last episode right now. All right, enjoy, have fun. Thanks. <laughs> that was that totally random. ruined the camera. So if you don't know who that was, Andrew Rea from Binging with Babish, if you haven't seen their YouTube channel, pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> We're still on the giggles. <laughs> My name is Andre Guerrero. We're at the Oinkster. We're going to feature our Oinkster pastrami sandwich today. Tell us about the Oinkster. What is this restaurant? I used to hang out here when I was in high school. It used to be Jim's Burgers. I grew up eating this fast food. I want to do something different. We deconstructed the french fries, the burgers, even the ketchup we make from scratch. That's what we were going to do. Fast food restaurant, but we were going to elevate the food. When I was a kid, my dad used to stop at this little juice Jewish drugstore, and this old guy used to make pastrami in the back. The memory of that, the smell and the taste, that was my goal, that pastrami from my childhood. The fries, my brother was going to chef school in Brussels, they'd have these little street vendors. It just blew me away and I thought, God, why can't we get good fries here? And they eat it with mayonnaise, so we came up with this garlic aioli. It just seemed perfect to me. We use rice bran oil. It gets a crispy, very clean flavor, and that's what the Japanese use for making tempura. I know you guys are known for the ube milkshake. Ube is this sweet purple yam that grows in the Philippines. There's a huge Filipino community here. I'm Filipino. Nobody was making hand scoop milkshakes and people went crazy for it. I'm hearing in this story you have your Filipino background, your brother who went to Brussels, this Jewish pastrami. If somebody was like, what kind of food does Oinkster make? What is that? It's a representation of Los Angeles. It's global. Global fast food. Yeah. To you, what makes a good sandwich? Use all great ingredients. You can't make a bad sandwich. Ube milkshake for me and a craft beer for you. Got an ube shake and I would do my ube shake. I, ho I was hoping you would. That's more of a roll than a shake. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept that as a shake. Cheers. Oh. The show is so much better when I dance. The right. fries are so crispy. It tastes very potato-y. It's really wild. In the back I saw them make this. There's whole hard-boiled eggs in it. Wait, what? Yeah, it's not like just mayonnaise, you know? It's like a whole other tasty paste. Oh, it's so creamy. And yeah. like fluffy. Yeah. All right, let's get the sandwich situation started. Oh my gosh, this is a big boy. Oh. There is so much pastrami in here. Hey. That's so freaking good. The pastrami is so good. You know what's key about this? It has that thick sandwich satisfaction without the normal thick sandwich problems, which is like... Spitting it like, in your mouth. Exactly. Being able to close down on it and get a clean bite. Uh, yes. It is a clean bite. You got juices flowing out from the bottom. It wow. is so much pastrami. But I can still taste the cheese in this sandwich. The slaw, and the mustard, and the roll, and the onions. This is just great sandwich eating. I can't dance anymore. That was a sick sandwich. We're here to try a very special, very expensive sandwich. We have Rie, our cultural guide, translator, parfait ambassador, to help us out. But before we get to the very special sandwich. We're going to learn a little bit more about sandwiches in Japan generally at a place called Yoshida Pan. Speaking of pan. <laughs> wow. wow. So this one is Napolitan. It's ketchup dressed pasta. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna get that one. I wanna try that. Annie, what do you want? Fruit. Excellent choice. Have you seen this kind of sandwich before? No. Hamukatsu, which is a deep fried ham. I'm gonna get a margarine because it's my favorite combo. Anko is sweet beans and buttery spread. Hi. 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 Bye bye, mom. Hi. Hey, check this out. This is probably the best packaging of a liquid I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. It's like an abstract Capri Sun. <laughs> Why are you pointing at me? Milk tank. 
<laughs> this bun Ooh. is the most inviting food I've ever seen. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 How's the spaghetti, Steven? It's kind of confusing me. Like, I feel like I need a fork right now. It is actually good. Like, it is. It's an interesting texture. What? Sweet cream. All right, but now we're going to potentially one of the greatest sandwiches of all, which is gonna be a 20,000 yen fried Wagyu cutlet sandwich. Nakameguro ni arimasu Wagyu Mafia Katsuretsu Sandwich. え、私、店長の井上と申します。と和牛マフィアは、え、5年ほど前に和牛を世界に広めていくというプロジェクトで立ち上がったチームでございまして、え、本日召し上がっていただくのはこちらの神戸ビーフシャトーブリアンサンド
one. That's it. Season five. Thanks for watching the season. <laughs> Thanks for watching this season, season five. High five. Yeah. <laughs> How about a little How about a knee bump? bump? Boom. Season five, that's a wrap. Bye. That's the uh that's the other piece of bread on the end of our season. Mm. First piece of bread, big meats. Last piece of bread, a sandwich video. In the middle? All is the Adam. episodes. Oh. Oh yes!